So what we are trying to accomplish is to hide all the unused or empty rows in our Google spreadsheet more efficiently using an app script assigned to a specific button. Let's zoom in a bit for a clearer view of our goal right here. Now let's click on this button that we created and see the result of our task. And just like that, all the unused rows in our template will be hidden right away. This is the counterpart tutorial for Google Spreadsheet of our previous video on how to hide rows based on cell result in Excel, which you can also see on the link below. Hello everyone, this is Sir Weds of ISF Media and welcome back to our channel. We published a video tutorial on how to hide unused or empty rows here on YouTube, which a number of you asked to have it working on Google Spreadsheet. The simple objective of our tutorial is to create a certain condition of which rows you would like to be automatically hidden in your active sheet. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it would only work on empty or unused rows for whatever purpose you'd like. We can say that you can hide rows based on a cell result. For this tutorial, we're looking into hiding the rows in our template that are empty since this is a standard sheet that doesn't have an exact number of filled out rows in a report. What you'd normally do would be manually hide all these rows by highlighting all the rows here in the left side panel like so and choosing the option hide rows. This is quite tedious and as we mentioned in our previous video, it's also prone to human error. There have been a number of times where some of the rows are erroneously hidden when it should have been shown. In order to automate this task, we can create a helper column that would function as a checker for the rows that should be hidden or shown. Let's add the helper column here by inserting an empty column on the leftmost part of our template. Our formulas will be placed in these cells right here since these are our working cells, which will be the criterion if it should be hidden or shown. We'll use a basic IF formula for that. If C7 is equal to empty, it should give a result of yes, and if not, it must say no. We'll populate this formula down to our last row for this section by highlighting all of the cells and pressing Ctrl D on our keyboard. Copy any cell here and paste it as well on the next cell of the following section and repeat the same process we did previously. We're halfway done already with our automation. Let me just format this a bit so that it would be easier for me to distinguish it next time. If you're meticulous, you can also check the results of our formula if it worked accordingly based on our objectives. To proceed with our automation, we'd go to Extensions and click on App Script in our toolbar right here. This will open a new window, which is where all of our scripts will be stored for our working file. Google Spreadsheet uses JavaScript, which is different from MS Excel, where we use VBA or macros to run our automation. You can also see that a basic structure of our script is already provided by App Script right here. We'll just change the name of our function here with auto hiding technique. I will now start inputting all of the code to make our automation work. And I will also try to explain the purpose of each line of the code we will be using here. If you'd like to skip this part of the tutorial and would only wish to have the code I used here, you can go to the description box below and click on the link I provided there, which is where I published our working JavaScript. We'll start with var sheet equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet, open close parenthesis, dot get active sheet, open close parenthesis, and end it with a semicolon. This line pinpoints the sheet we're working on to which our automation would run. We used get active sheet instead of specifying the sheet name of our file. This is a generic approach which I always use even in MS Excel. We can follow that with sheet dot show rows, open parenthesis one, comma sheet dot, get last row, open close parenthesis. To close the show rows command and then close parenthesis again with semicolon to close the line command. This line ensures that all rows in the sheet are visible. Next, we'll identify the range to where the checking of conditions will be focused on. So we write var range equals sheet dot get range open parenthesis quote and quote a one to a plus sheet dot get last row open close parenthesis and close parenthesis semicolon. This basically tells our script to check all of the rows within column A. 
var values equals range dot get values open close parenthesis semicolon, which checks the values of all the cells under column A, which we specified previously. VR num rows equals range dot get num rows open close parenthesis semicolon, which determines the number of rows within our specified range. We will follow this with a looping script that examines each row in column A. For open parenthesis, var i equals zero semicolon, i is less than num rows semicolon i plus plus close parenthesis, open curly bracket. With the loop initiated, our conditional triggers will now check our range. We will use if open parenthesis values bracket, i, close bracket, open bracket, zero close bracket equals 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 quote and quote, yes, close parenthesis, curly bracket, sheet dot hide rows open parenthesis i plus one close parenthesis semicolon. This line provides a clear command to our script that if a row matches yes, it will immediately hide that row. Once it does that, it will continue to check the next row until the last row of our range repeatedly. Let me put notes on our formula for everyone to remember. This next line is optional. I usually use this since the purpose of hiding these rows is so that I can easily print the specified page within my sheet. I can do that by selecting the specified range of the whole template. I'll go back to our sheet and highlight the whole section of my template which I desire to print right after the execution of my script. I'll just click on the name box right here and copy it so that I can return to my app script and paste it later. I'll use sheet.getrange open parenthesis quote and quote then paste the range close parenthesis dot activate open close parenthesis semicolon to end my script. Now that our script is done, I'll just go back to our template and hide the helper column since it already serves its purpose. Back to my app script tab, I'll click on the save button right here to finalize our script. Once that is saved, I can now choose to click the run button here, which will execute our script and will take effect here in our sample sheet. When executed for the first time, authorization will be required from you. Click on review permissions and sign in using your Gmail address. And because our app script isn't registered in the Google database, a security warning will be shown. To approve the execution of our app script, we will click on the advanced option here and click on go to untitled project since we didn't provide a specific name for our app script. Proceed to click the allow button after that and your app script will be executed immediately. Once the execution log shows the execution completed prompt, we have successfully automated the hiding of rows based on the conditions we have provided. You can also see that the whole section of our template is already selected or highlighted, which is very helpful when we intend to print it directly here in our Chrome browser. We can now assign this app script we created to a button here in our spreadsheet. We can do that by clicking on the Insert tab right here and choose Drawing. Let me create a button right now. You can also choose to format your button. Usually I choose gradient colors, and once I'm done, just click on Save and Close. Let me place it right here so that we don't see it when we print it in the future. By clicking on the rightmost part of the button which has three vertical dots, we can choose the Assigned Script section. This is where we will place the name of the script that we created a while ago. We'll just double click on that and copy it, then paste it right here in the prompt and click on OK. Let's test our button if it works and hide all of these rows right here. And there you go, the template automatically hides all the rows that we wanted it to hide with just a click of a button. You can use this code on all other Google spreadsheet files you wish. Just be sure to follow the steps we provided. And of course, edit the specified ranges where you place the conditions or criteria of the cells that will be hidden or shown. That's everything we have for you today. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can view the whole code we used here in this video in the link within the description box below. If you found this tutorial useful, please hit that subscribe button right there. Or you can just buy me a cup of coffee by sending your donations to our accounts provided below as well. This is Sir Weds of ISF Media and thank you for watching.